Hello guys, welcome back to Medicuries. So today I've come up with the analysis of the repeated questions which came in NEET PG 2024 while considering the questions of 2018 to 2023 NEET PG. So this video is particularly for the subject of biochemistry. So let's look how many PYQs came up in 2024. So first one is about cystinuria, about the hexagonal crystals in urine. So exact repeat question of 2018 had come in 2024. Now, niacin deficiency, again, the Pellagra triad, which is the famous triad of dermatitis, dementia, and diarrhea. So there was a repeated question in 2024 and 2023. Now, the maize diet and the niacin deficiency, again, a repeated question over three years, 2021, 2020, and 2024. So the repeated link between the maize and niacin deficiency is something very important, guys. Now, moving on to vitamin C deficiency, 2024 a question had come and in 2023 again a question had come so same presentation was given and scurvy because of the defective collagen now rotenone inhibition 2024 and 2021 repeated questions guys so here i have mentioned 2024 question number six and 2021 question number two so this question number six is based on the q bank which i will be putting up in my channel with all the PYQs and 2021 question 2 is also based on my PYQ. So every question number which I mentioned is based on the PYQ which I will be putting up on my channel regarding each of the subjects. Now next important one is the carnitine deficiency in 2022 and 2024 there were questions. Next is familial cholesterolemia which is again a favorite topic exact diagnosis was asked. So 2024, 2021 and 2023 questions had come and even in 2024 there were two questions which had come up from this topic. Next is Simon Soos that is the Polish rice again the same question in 2023 and 2024 next to bonnet topic is Wilson's disease and then is the galactosemia again here the enzyme identical enzyme defect was asked in the previous one the definitive diagnosis was asked so most of these uh, questions all of these questions which I have mentioned here is all the pre-YQs itself which came repeat or something which is uh, very minutely changed that you can call as a PYT. But more than PYT, it was major, majorly PYQs itself which came repeating. Now, total repeats or highly similar questions were 16 out of the 31 questions. So that is around 52 percentage. So 16 questions were from the 2018 to 2023 paper, which had repeated in 2024 need PG paper. So topics like niacin deficiency, cystinuria, familial hypercholesterolemia and Wilson's disease are frequently repeated questions and mechanistic questions like enzyme inhibitors, metabolic pathways also reappear in papers and diagnostic criteria is also tested across multiple years now. Now the take home message for medicos is that roughly half of the 2024 questions in biochemistry were direct repeats or closely related to the previous year topics in biochemistry. So what is the inference? It emphasizes the importance of revising the high yielding concepts from past papers. There is no go without PYQs guys. You have to do PYQs and you need to have three revisions of your PYQs. Also you need to do PYQs of FMG as well because the board is same and PYQs of FMG has also repeated in NEET PG 2024. Yes guys FMG PYQs exact questions had come up in NEET PG 2024. So if you look at the topic wise distribution, highest number of questions are from vitamins and nutritional disorders. Now, second highest number of questions is from amino acid metabolism and then comes inborn errors and then comes the molecular biology and below that the other topics come up. Now, total analysis of the repeated topics from 2018 to 2024. So, high yielding topics are the vitamin deficiencies, vitamin A, B1, B3, B12, C and K. Next is the inborn errors of metabolism like the alcaptinuria, gauchers and homocystinuria. And next is the enzyme deficiencies, which is again an important topic like G6PD deficiency, onitin, transcarbamylase and fumaryl acetoacetate hydrolase. Now next is the lipid metabolism, again an important topic. And then is the DNA, RNA processes and then the protein structure of function and then the clinical syndromes. So the most repeated topics from 2018 to 24 are, as I mentioned, vitamin deficiencies tops the list. Then inborn errors come second. And then third is enzyme deficiency. 
Fourth is lipid metabolism and fifth is DNA or RNA process. High yielding topics as mentioned earlier, vitamin deficiencies like B1, B3 and vitamin C deficiencies, they are very, very important. And among the inborn errors, alkaptonuria, homocystinuria, they are something which dominate the exams. Now, new additions which came up in 2024 exam were the enzyme deficiencies like APOC2 and complex 1 inhibition and also certain questions on inborn errors like Pompey's and and Leshnaihan and then clinical syndromes like lead poisoning and hypophosphatemic rickets. So repeated concepts as you can see again is alkaptonuria which has come up around uh, 6 in number of questions and pelagra 5 questions, time and deficiency 4 questions and DNA, RNA editing and lipid metabolism they always remain critical in exams. So focus areas if you look at the 2024 trends there's increased emphasis on mitochondrial disorders and the genetic syndromes and also emphasis on lead poisoning, scurvy and niacin deficiency in maize based diets. So guys you can take up a screenshot of this uh, question numbers which has repeated previously and which are most important. So I have uh, topics are categorized from NEET PG biochemistry questions in 2018 to 2024 and the key questions are mentioned here. I'll be uploading my video based uh, with the same question numbers which had been coming up uh, in the previous years. So if at all, uh, suppose for amino acid metabolism and disorders, if I have mentioned 2018 question number one, so 2018 question number one is based on the QBank video which I will be uploading very soon guys. So like that you can have a, a screenshot with this and you can correlate with my upcoming video and please don't forget to study these repeated questions. These are something very important and when you do these PYQs, do read more on that which will constitute the PYTs itself. And that's it guys. Hope you all are doing well. So the main concept of this video was to... Uh, was to make you understand that PYQs keep repeating in exams and PYTs are also very important. All PYTs should be studied, guys. You cannot miss out on PYTs and PYQs. First do PYQs, then do PYTs. And not only these. So these are about the questions. All PYTs are important, guys. You need to do PYTs, do FMG papers also and do need PG papers also. These are very important. So till I come back with my new video, stay tuned. Till then, bye-bye.